going live. Okay. All right. I can see that we're live on uh, Facebook, so we'll start getting some notifications and people coming in. We're also live on YouTube, Porchcast Pottstown, Facebook, Matt Green at Glocker Real Estate, and YouTube, Porchcast Pottstown. I can see that people are starting to tune in. Thanks for tuning in to this episode of Porchcast Pottstown. I'm going to try to get on the show on my phone because we do monitor the comments. So if as you are watching, you would like to make a comment and join in the conversation that's going on here on Porchcast Pottstown, make sure that you put a comment in the comment section. I try to monitor as many comments as I can, but I don't get all of them for some reason. We've not been able to figure out why it's just some kind of YouTube thing or Facebook thing. Right. Um, but thanks for tuning in. Let us know that you're here. Gail, Gail Amber Wolf, thanks for tuning in. Um, that leads us to say that you will notice if you're a regular watcher of Porchcast Pottstown, you will notice that someone is missing from our set today. Uh, Amy Wolf is sick. She thinks it's a sinus infection but in all good conscience she didn't want to come into the school without 100 percent knowing that it was just a sinus infection and not covid so she went and got her covid test the results are not back so she's staying at home tonight well we could have had her outside and put the garage door down <laughs> yes. and she could have broadcast from out there we'd even think about that <laughs> we'd even think about that we could have put her outside of one of the classrooms right. or something. <laughs> or under the exhaust fan, yes. so it pulls everything. Joe Rusevich, always thinking. So that being said, <laughs> uh, I'm going to introduce our two guests today. Fortunately, Joe Rusevich is a hardcore Porchtonian and watches the show on a regular basis. So he's going to be my co-host today, special guest co-host, Joe Rusevich from Foundation for Pottstown Education. Many people who watch the show recognize him from the comments. I think this is the second. Uh, this is my second time on. Your second appearance yes. on the show. First time on Amy's porch. Yeah. Now in the high school. Now in the high school. And right. Joe was nice enough to buy us the cake for our one year anniversary show. He set that up for us. Yeah. Joe's a nice guy, a supporter of Porchcast Pottstown and a contributor to society. Wow, that's yeah. amazing. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> so we also have another guest. Introduce yourself and tell us who you are and why you are on the show tonight. Well, my name is Anthony uh, Pinos Casillo. I am in the show because I am trying to fundraise to, um, for our class to have a better floor. Right. And by the class, you mean this construction technology class, correct? Yeah. And this part, this is the Votech wing of the high school. Now, we don't call it Votech here in no. Pottstown anymore, right? It's we call a CTE, it Career Technical Education Program. And Anthony, you've been in building trades and woodworking. How yes. many years have you been in this program? Um, probably about four. Four years. So the entire time you've been in high school, in one way, shape, or form, you've been taking classes in CTE. Is that right? Yeah. And then, so you're a senior now. Yeah. And because you are spent so many hours in this shop, you realized that the floor was kind of in a little bit of bad condition, right? Yeah, like throughout um, last semester, we've been really trying to organize because we have a new um, teacher, Mr. Mm -hmm. um, Siever, which okay. shout out, he's amazing. Okay, uh, okay. Um, but yeah, um, and we organized like over there, there used to be a wall Right. And it's been there for like years. I remember Mr. Hewitt, uh, mm -hmm. our neighbor. Yeah. Um, Mr. So, Hewitt is yeah. the auto instructor and he yeah. also teaches welding. Yeah. He was saying that it was there when he went to school and, it, you know, this trash just bundled up. Mm -hmm. But our new teacher has really, um, you know, put the step forward up and said we need to organize. And we did. 
So, um, and but now the floor is more noticeable than ever. So that's kind right. of a problem. So now, as part of the shop organization, getting everything ready, getting it professionalized, right? Mm -hmm. You want to present a professional wood shop appearance here in Votech, right? Yeah, because um, multiple kids will be coming through here. You know? Right. So everything has to be organized, safe, clean, etc. Yes. Because and as part of that professionalization, you guys are going to update the floor. Yeah. All right. So that's why Anthony's on the show today. He's uh, the senior who's in charge of the floor renovation project in the wood shop here at Pottstown High School's CTE program. Now, before we ask Anthony some more questions and get into a more in-depth conversation with him, Joe, you have some things that you want to cover about the Foundation for Pottstown Education, right. correct? Yeah, I just want to take a couple minutes. Um, Many of you know we did a, a survey, Survey Monkey, of our alumni. There's over 20,000 of alumni for Pottstown High School. But we did a survey because we want to, feel, alumni feel they're not connected or want to be better connected. So we wanted to see how that would work. And 85% of the responses said that they would attend an event that we host. So what we did is we hooked up with the alley um, and Anthony Giordino at the alley. We're going to host a first ever Pottstown High School social on September 17th, that's a week from tomorrow, from five to seven down at the alley. We're gonna have some giveaways. Um, there's some tchotchkes, as I call them, right, that we right. have from- um, swag. The, swag. They're bringing yes. you the merch. Some merch. <laughs> <laughs> so we have some of that, but one of the, the final giveaways is going to be a cornhole set okay. that the construction technology classes agreed to build. Okay. Um, and I think when you start the slideshow, they'll, they'll see that, but there'll be a cornhole set that has the Pottstown Trojan on it. And then we got the cornhole bags, and there's a picture of that, but I'm holding them up now. And there'll be four of the blue bags with the Trojan on and four, four of the white bags that have the foundation logo. That will be a giveaway, the grand prize at this event. There's no cost. There will be drink specials there. Um, one of the drink specials, especially for us, is the Pottstown Mule. Okay. which is going to okay. be a mule, but with blueberry added so that we have the school colors. Nice. So we'll have that. And Mama's Meatballs uh, is going to be the food truck. Okay. And you know you can get food from any of the other restaurants in the area as well. Uh, drink specials. And then starting at 630, Jack Mangine is going to be on acousticals and entertaining. Um, we're doing five to seven, but people are more than welcome to stay. Or there's a home football game at seven o'clock. You can go to that. So, so you could pregame down at the alley exactly. from five to seven, support your local high school, right? right? Support your alma mater. That's right. And then head over to the football game. That's right. That's and great. and uh, we do know the class of 1970 is doing their reunion that weekend, and they're coming to the alley that night. So if you don't want to be inundated with just a class of 70, get your classmates and come out and join us on Friday. The other thing I wanted to mention briefly is we are part of the Tri-County Community Network, TCN. And by Friday, you mean Next Sept Friday, next September Friday, 17th. 17th. Good. Thank right. you for catching no that. No problem. Not tomorrow. Um, they won't have the Pottstown Mules ready till there. They won't be in town until the week after. But um, we are part of Tri-County Community Network, or TCN, and the Amazing Rays, and that's coming up in October. Uh, that is a fundraising event that helps our operations at the foundation. Um, things like this fundraising that I've been helping Anthony with don't happen on their own. Um, example, every letter that we send out costs us a dollar okay. in supplies. And, that, and that's not manpower. That's just the supplies. Just for the materials. Just for itself. the material. So people right. think fundraising, it happens on its own, and it doesn't. Right. So we need operating dollars. So the uh, money raised from that will go towards that. We have a challenge again this year. Uh, the challenge is if 100% of our board of directors mm -hmm. and 100% of the school district board of directors donates, and it's not a given amount, it's a participation goal, and 120 
Pottstown School District employees donate, okay. and new this year, 60 alumni okay. donate, we will get $10,000. All right, so in order to check all those boxes, you need participation from the Foundation for Pottstown Education Board, board. the school board, school board, alumni, and the district staff. And staff. Last year, it, the first year we did it was the both boards and we hit 100%. Our okay. board is fantastic and we do 100% every year. Last year we had a district employees and, and we set the goal at 80 and we hit 92. Okay. So we're very pleased with that. So this year it was raised to 120 and this is the first year we're gonna do alumni. So now a question is asked is what if I'm on your board and I'm an alumni? Yeah, can you get counted twice? You do, awesome. you do, you get counted twice. The only person that doesn't get counted twice is Mr. Pottstown John Armato okay. because he's on our board and he's on the school board. Lord. So instead of nine school board members uh -huh. and 16 foundation board members, it's eight and a half uh -huh. and 15 and a half. So John counts as a half for each one. Okay. No, I didn't need to go into that, but I always like to bring John Armato's name Just up whenever I can. Just put him on the spot, can. Yeah. right? Right. But everybody else, like Scott Tatar, Leticia Santiago, um, and, and Kenny Patel, they are all alumni and they're board members, so they count as two for that. So that, that's all coming up, and uh, we're looking forward to those. Right on. So we're just getting some comments, and I think you should charge Judy Green, who's on your board, I think you should charge her twice. Like, if you only have to charge our motto half a time make it up by charging judy green twice twice yeah okay that's just a little porch cast rule I i'm sure she'll be very happy to hear that <laughs> yeah uh elizabeth harper is saying she has a soft spot for the votech the cte at the high school because her daughter took three years of auto my son patrick also took three years of auto and also studied welding in the auto shop so yeah um, we, we've been really programs. getting into the fundraising for for the the cte and the auto um and the uh, cosmetology studio for example two years ago um, through our donors we raised funds to pay for or partially pay for the alignment machine in the auto tech which is a state of the art there's some garages in auto dealerships that don't, don't have, have this them. piece of equipment right so we were able to purchase that and then um, one of our donors uh, donated funds to completely refurnish and re refurbish the cosmetology studios two years ago so, so I put up the slideshow, and mm -hmm. I just want to take a couple of minutes to explain to people what they're seeing. Um, right now on the screen, you're going to be, and there's a little bit of a delay, but you'll see Anthony with the new shop instructor looking at the floor. You'll see two of the beanbag samples that are going to be given away um, at the alley on the 17th right. for the fundraiser. Mm -hmm. So alley. It's not a fundraiser, it's just, just a social. A just a social. No, no money will be collected okay. other than at the bar and the food vendors. But if you're feeling like If you want to give us money, we'll collect they'll it. They'll certainly Absolutely. take it. So bring a few extra dollars. Um, there's pictures of the cornhole, which you guys made here in the shop right yeah. and then there's pictures of the cosmetology shop going on um cosmetology construction auto welding medical graphic arts what are the other cte programs i was typing so Where i wasn't you? listening culinary arts did Cul you mention oh, that i forgot about the culinary yeah the arts. culinary arts um every year we do our gala is that how you say it Gala. You say gala. gala. I say gala. I right. don't want to say either. I want to say special <laughs> event. <laughs> right. Uh, but we do it here with the, this year, the district musical. Right. And uh, so that's all the students can participate, not just high school. We have a dinner and it's catered by the culinary arts students. Um, this year, it's Shrek the musical. Nice. So for the first time, we're offering children ticket prices and those ticket prices will be the exact cost that we pay out for the meal and for the ticket to the show yeah. nothing else on top of it so i will say this the kids here in the culinary program make great food 
their food. Yes. I would stack it up against any restaurant in town. Absolutely. And I've had I've had great meals from prime rib up to like just sandwiches yep. and stuff like that. Yeah, and last everything year, I've had here has been fabulous. Last year we had to move it because of COVID. It was done in May and we couldn't do it with the sit down dinner, but so it was takeout. Well, um, Mr. Irie, or not Irie, Steve, I know him by, the culinary arts chef prepared for a buffet and so he had to get rid of the food. So people had food taken home. I know I made three meals out of my one meal. Yeah. That's how much food was And was it was good, there. too. The barbecue. They did a southern barbecue that was awesome. It was. I got I got one of those meals, and I thought it was great. It I was. ate everything. ate all of it. So one of the things we're trying to do in this show, and we're going to segue into talking to Anthony and having some more conversation with him, is highlight the fact that Pottstown School District has an integrated VOTEC program. Program. It's called CTE. Give me the CTE. Career Technical Education. Career Technical Education. That's on campus here at the high school. In other high schools in the area, a kid, if he wants to go to Votech, has to get in a car or get on the bus and go to another location. Here in Pottstown, the kids can stay right here on campus and take their Votech classes. Now, some people are going to say the question or the comment we're going to get is, so what? So what? Well, here's the so what. If a kid just wants to explore something for one semester, see if he likes it or not, he doesn't have to sign up and leave his college or his high school, high school. campus to go someplace else. He can explore, or she, excuse me, he or she can explore the Votech program that they are interested in to see if that's really a good fit for them. They don't have to leave. They don't have to f sign up for a full year of going to Votech only to decide that they don't like it. Right. So that's a big advantage that, well, that, that we have here in Pottstown right. that the surrounding school districts do not have. Right. They send their students to another centralized location. Um, you know, and the other thing is to, to our businesses in the community, because they can hire our students right out of high school. Right. You know, how many, you know, welding, plumbers and all that. And I just brought out my brochure here. Here's accounting one and two, auto technology, uh, computer science, construction technology, cosmetology, culinary arts, entrepreneurship. And I should have remembered that Mr. Levengood, if he's listening, that's his class. Uh, health care technology, intro to welding, management information, robotics, and web design. All of those are part of the CTE Right program. here. Right, right here. here on campus. Right here. Right here. So we also talked about uh, the things that were donated to the auto shop, that alignment machine. Like Joe Rusevich was saying, that alignment machine is a piece of technology that some of the repair shops, some of the professional repair shops in this area do not have. Right. The kids here at Pottstown, when they graduate from that program, like my son and Liz Harper's daughter, they are actually going to have more experience than some of the professional mechanics in this area. Exactly. It's, that's going to look great on their resume when they go to it apply will. for a job. It will. They have a new technician that knows how to use this new technology. Right. That technology was donated or partially sponsored by Scott Bentley from Video yes. Ray, correct? Well, it was the family. So the it was family. he and his brother okay. that, that made that donation. And before we forget, a mutual friend has made a comment here. Uh, Heather Day, Moyer Daly commented, she's in charge of the Pride program, which is an after-school program for middle school students. And Heather worked with the CTE program so that the middle stu school students after school can come here and explore the programs here. Right. So we're even reaching the middle school with this program. It's a great bridge program it is. for kids in the middle school. Start reaching them early so they know what their options are. Right? And I think I was the one that gave Heather that idea, but uh, uh, she won't claim that. So. Right. The other thing is Mike Pence fly is buzzing around yes, us it here is. today. So. We left the doors open for some extra ventilation. Um, so you know Scott Bentley, right, Anthony? Yeah. You want to talk a little bit about your relationship with Scott and then start talking about how you are fundraising for this uh, repairing the floor project here? Well, Scott Bentley, I have a lot of thanks for him because um, he helped me a lot um, academically. 
and um, he is an amazing guy and I know he helps a lot of people uh, especially in our district um, you know he was also helping me with the uh, fundraising he was giving me ideas and you know every idea is important so. right so just to recap because I know that there are some people that tuned in a little bit late Anthony is a senior here and has been in the construction technology program for four years, yep. basically. And um, they're updating and professionalizing the shop here at the CTE program at the high school. As part of that updating, organizing, and professionalizing this woodworking shop, this is a fully functioning uh, professional woodworking shop. If you were a carpenter, or a woodworker, you could come right into the shop and have every tool that you need to get your job done. That's what these kids are working on. Professional grade equipment to do a professional job, right? Yeah. So as part of this updating and professionalization, you guys realized that the floor was in bad condition, right? Yeah. So explain to us about the process that you guys are gonna go through to update the floor and uh, explain to the people watching um, what you're gonna be doing, the types of products that you're going to be using, and um, basically your need to help cover those costs. You you have all these answers because I was talking to you before the show. Yeah. So lay it on us, brother. So <laughs> our um, our prof our teacher mm -hmm. um, he actually uh, got in contact with uh, a former student from this actual school and from the program. Um, right. His name is Chris um, Mest. Chris, Chris Mest. Mest. Chris Mest. Okay. And, uh, you know, uh, he is also a great guy, um, and he he uh, did show us a presentation. I don't know if you can see it or not. It's on the slideshow, and I'll put it back up so that people can see what the finished product mm -hmm. is going to look like. And, um, you know, he's amazing. Uh, he has a special machine, mm -hmm. which, first of all, he sands it, and when he sands it, he uses these special types of diamonds, and it just makes it sands and it makes it look really nice mm. and once the cracks uh, and then once you sand it you notice cracks and you can see cracks yeah we can see cracks and scratches and all that stuff in the floors yeah. we're sitting here um and he puts this special formula i think it's called an a b solution mm -hmm. and then uh, once that is done he the a b it. solution fills the cracks and yeah. the gaps and levels the floor mm -hmm. right so it's it's in preparation for the final coat correct yeah. okay and then he, um, once that's done, I think he sands it again and then puts a special epoxy. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, it, depending on the design, uh, the paint, and then another special epoxy. And then uh, there's like, I think you call them, what, what would you call them? Uh, corner, I mean, the, the flaking? Yeah. Yeah, flakes. they called it flaking. Yeah. yeah, and the flake adds texture, and it's mm -hmm. like a finish. A lot of people might notice this because there's commercials for this product on television. It's what you would use to redo the floor in your garage, in garage. Mm -hmm. right. right? Or I've seen and people what's use on it in the their floor basement. in the auto technology as well. Okay, so they're gonna, you guys, you <laughs> are in charge of this project and getting the floor updated here in the wood shop, right? Yes. So what's the cost? of that going to be how much money do we need to raise or help you raise in order to get the floor finished in here um eight thousand and ten dollars eight thousand and ten dollars mm -hmm. now you explained to me before that chris mast who's an alumni mm -hmm. of Pottstown and of the wood shop program here the construction technologies and he's, he's also the owner of the company which is royal concrete services okay so Chris Mest at Royal Concrete Services. Right. 2007 has, graduate of Pottstown High School. There you go. And part of the construction technology program. Nice. He's donating his labor, yes. correct? So he's, kinda, he's gonna be the job foreman and he's gonna work with you guys in the shop to finish this project. And the cost of that is gonna be $8,010 because Chris is donate kindly donating his labor. But there's still material expenses, yeah, right? He's correct. gotta purchase the stuff, he's gotta buy it from his suppliers. Right. So you need $8,010. What kind of ideas do you have for fundraiser? What kind of things are you gonna be doing that people watching right now can get involved in? Um, well, first we started off by selling popsicles, okay. uh, the Outshine product. I really like that. 
Okay. Um, they're healthy. What's it called again? The Outshine. Outshine. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we had four flavors: uh, okay. strawberry, mango, tangerine, and grape. Okay. You know they're really good. So. All right, <laughs> I'll take your word for it. I don't think I've ever had one, but I'll take your word for it. Now, where were people able to buy those popsicles, and are you still doing that? Um, we were doing that at Memorial Park. Okay. And we were also like knocking on doors. Mm -hmm. Um. And unfortunately, since the weather's kind of getting colder now, mm -hmm. we've been slowing. We used to do it like almost every day, but now it's like once every week. So. Okay. And now school started too, yeah. so it's going to get in the way of your hustle a little bit, right? Yeah. Um, what other kind of ideas do you have? Or is there a way that somebody could um, help you? Like, so for instance, I know there's some people tonight that have mm -hmm. done t-shirt sponsorships before. We have a guy that watches the show that designs t-shirts. Have you thought about doing t-shirt sales? What different, what are the different ideas that are floating around um, that you might need some help with from people that are watching the show? Porchtonians, mm -hmm. we call them. Like, um, for instance, um, I know that uh, uh, the whole class themselves are really trying hard, um, you know, just by ordering something like simple, like, um, like, uh, what would you uh, like a simple chair we could make and sell it okay uh, we've been trying to um go like more publicly okay uh we can make stuff i know before we have done multiple things yeah so i know in the past this the cte program here built sheds mm -hmm. right you guys are building anirondack chairs it's not on camera but just off camera there's a sample of an anirondack chair that they were building it looks to me as good a quality as anything that you would buy at a store or one of the big box stores. Right. So you guys are making those here in the yeah. shop. So people could order those chairs and then the proceeds of the chair or the product that they ordered from the shop are going to go to help raise money for the floor. Is yeah. that correct? Yeah. And we also do multiple things. Like we can also do flower pots. I know we did that once um, a long time ago. Okay. Um, you know, multiple stuff like even art i know a couple of uh, the kids were doing art as well okay so how would somebody get in in touch with the cte program to place their order or to um offer their assistance in helping you fundraise how would somebody get in, uh, get um, in touch probably by our director um what's his, uh, mr mr living good yeah mm -hmm. So somebody could contact Mr. Living Good, who's the director of the Dave, overall CTE program, right. Dave David Living, Living Good, Good yes. here at the high school. Right. Um, I will do my best to put up his contact information in the contact uh, or in the comments of the show. Um, we're also going to put up information on how you can reach out to Joe Rusevich. Right. And Joe, you're involved in this because yes. you're helping with the fundraising. Well, Anthony, Anthony contacted me about two weeks ago okay. and started explaining this project. It was, it was a funny phone call at first because he says, Joe, I'm, I'm involved in this um, in career technical education and construction, and we're cleaning up the floor. And, oh, yeah, how are you doing? <laughs> he didn't realize he, he didn't say hello you know, on the phone. This is how excited he is about the project. So when he explained it to me, I thought he was asking the foundation for the money, and we have a funding opportunity that we could do. But he and I talked further, and he and I each separately wrote a solicitation letter and included it in with the press release, and thanks to Evan Brandt for putting it in the digital notebook um, yesterday, actually, talking about the program. So we put that in um, a solicitation letter and mailed out letters to some of our donors to reach out to them for donation. Um, so if anybody didn't get that letter but would like to donate, all they have to do is go to our foundation website, and that's Foundation Education. Um, Dot e, or edu dot org, um, or just type in Foundation for Pottstown Education, go to the donate button, uh, and go from there. Just be sure to put in the notes section construction floor or flooring, okay. um, so we know where the money goes to. Or they could send a check to us at the Foundation, 230 Beach Street, Pottstown, 19464. Uh, since Anthony and I sent the letter out, we've raised about $600 
um, just from a few donations that have come in. So we're hopeful, hopeful that more people will donate um, and get that done quicker. That fundraising like this solicitation happens quicker than selling something because you also have the cost of the product that you're using. So we're hoping people will donate for that and uh, we can get the project rolling. Okay, I'm working on getting those links up. Uh, I put Mr. Living Good's name and phone number. That's the general phone number. And then you could ask for Mr. Living Good directly by dialing that number. If you would like to place an order for some of these products that Anthony talked about, they build here in the shop. Uh, next and thing. Anthony, you, didn't, you don't know because you're not seeing here, but we did get a $500 donation from uh, Wolf Baldwin and Associates. Thank you, Amy, for that. So we're yeah, up over $1,000 now towards, nice. your, towards your goal. That's yeah. like one-eighth of the way there. <laughs> yeah, but it's something. <laughs> what, what percentage is that? Should we get the abacus and the slide ruler out? Let's figure that out. Right. So it's something. So before the show, Anthony, I told you there's going to be some people that are watching that are going to reach out and offer some help. So you got a donation for your appearance here tonight. Congratulations. Yeah. And Thank you to them. Jason Morris, who's watching on YouTube, he owns a company that makes t-shirts and sweatshirts and things of that nature i'm going to put you in contact with him he said he can help you design some t-shirts and sweatshirts and if you want to try to sell those as a fundraiser you can work with jay on that jay designed our logo for uh porchcast potstown and has helped us with some of the fundraisers that we do when we're bringing you the merch so you've made two contacts. I know that there's some people from the Rotary that are watching. Hopefully we're giving the Rotarians some ideas on how they can get involved. Uh, I'm regularly contacted by the Rotarians who are looking for a project to get involved in. So right. Rotarians, here's a good way for you guys to get involved uh, with raising money to finish this floor here at the high school, right? Yep. All right, so in, in, in addition to the fact that you are taking classes here at CTE, you play soccer, right? You're yeah. on the soccer squad. Uh, what position do you play in soccer? I play the out wing. Okay, so um, you're on defense. Yeah. You're, you play wing defense, right? Uh, yeah, Okay. on the right side. On the right side. I saw you yesterday at the game, mm -hmm. hustling around, trying your best. That's all you can do, right? Yeah. Just play the game as best you can. And I also heard that you're taking some college classes. Is yeah, that correct? Yeah, I take it at Monco. Okay. I'm with uh, the um, Early College Foundation. Early College Program. Okay. Um, so, and what are you studying? What are you studying at Monco, or what do you hope to study once you get graduate and go into college? Um, I would like to get involved in wildlife. Okay. Um, I think I think that's a very big topic that most people don't really know. Uh huh. Um. You know, I've just been taking courses there, and right. it's, it's amazing. Like, people should try out Monco, even if they're not sure about colleges, because right. Monco is a very great school. Okay. There you go, Judy Green. He said yes. it. Monco's a very great school. Yeah. His mother's one of the, uh, the um, counselors there. She loves talking about Monco. Monco. Loves yes. it. So yeah. she's, you got another convert right. to Monco. Exactly. And, and Anthony is one of the currently 30 students in the foundation um, early college program that we fund and pay up to 30 credits. Uh, and Anthony will have at the end of this semester, so halfway through his senior year, he'll have the 30 credits earned. And he also has another grant through the college, through Monco, um, that he can get another four classes, so additional 12 credits. So going into college, he'll have at least 42 credits earned, um, you know, for his college career. And, you know, we all often hear all this news and it, it is it is not right that Pottstown is so underfunded but Pottstown doesn't just sit there and cry about it even our students we get out there and take action be it action through legislation but look at what this student is doing he's going right. out selling popsicles yeah in the, the summertime to raise funds and then contacting a fundraising arm of the school district to help them get this job done. And it's the students that are gonna be doing the work, the students that really wanted to get this job done. So right. they don't just 
sit back and say, oh, poor us. Right. It's like, what can we do? Just in the time that we've been sitting here talking to Anthony and his participation in the conversation, um, this kid's smart. Mm -hmm. uh, he's professional, uh, conducts himself like an adult, and really was able to answer some really in-depth questions about what was going on. And I must say, listening to the conversation here tonight, he reached out to you, right? Yes, he did. So this is a yes. guy who's showing leadership, right? And initiative and professionalism, because when you get out into the work world, guess what you're gonna have to do? Make calls, network with people, figure out solutions to problems. And right. he's doing all of that. Yeah, exactly. And he's taking the initiative to do it. Um, you know, he's looking at other sources. As he indicated, Scott Bentley is a friend of his. And I don't know that you did mention this, but this is through the Big Brother, Big Sister program. Right. Another fantastic organization in the Pottstown area that puts people in connection with other people that can help them along. And Scott doesn't do the things for him, because Scott and I have had some conversation. He guides Anthony so it's, Anthony it's can a find the right. Exactly. It's a right. mentorship. And Scott's not the only one. There's a lot of other mentors out there. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and David Charles is on here. Mm -hmm. Strive Initiative that mentors the middle school students. You know, so there's a lot of opportunity out here. Right. Absolutely. So, uh, Amy... Wolf is reminding us that if you don't ask, if you don't ASK, you don't G-E-T, right? The so, number one thing in fundraising is the reason people don't give is because they were not asked. asked. Right. So we're asking all of you, right. you know, help our students out here. Mm -hmm. Send in a donation and we'll get this flooring done. And along those lines, I did put up the link to Pottstown Foundation for Education. Um, it is in the link for both YouTube and on Facebook. So if you scroll back through the comments on the show, you'll see those links. After the show, I will make sure that there's a link to the Foundation for Pottstown Education on my Facebook page, which is Matt Green at Glocker Real Estate, where the majority of the people are now watching this show. Right. So there's going to be plenty of ways to um, get involved and find out about what's going on um, with this great project and this great program um we have a bunch of news and stuff like that so i'm going to start digging into the news every time we talk about news and update it's going to jog our memory about some other thing that we're going to want to talk about so let's dig into the news if you have something to say if you want to keep plugging your program keep doing it um i think you present yourself well and you present your program well and you present your project well it seems to me like you're a good project leader this is this is the kid that i would pick if i was looking for a project manager he knows all the details knows all the players he managing a project exactly that's real world experience right that and this is, town kids are getting. Right. And this is, you know, we go through a series to select the students for the early college program. And one of the things we, we really rely heavily on is their, not only the, their academic activity, but what they do extracurricular, but also the essay that they do. And in talking about what, you know, what this program will do for them and could do for them. And, you know, I can remember Anthony's and, and it, it hit me from the very beginning. Um, and, and I can remember a lot of the essays I have, that I've read about the students who are currently in our program. And they really represent the Pottstown School District. So... Uh, Dave Charles was saying that maybe he could participate in the FET and sell some popsicles down at the Fed on Blanc. I will work with Dave Charles in order to get Anthony in touch with the organizers at the FET and see what could possibly be done there. That's a good um, idea. So in some way, shape, or form, this is a brainstorming session too. Right. We're right. trying to come up with some ideas in order to help Anthony out. So stay plugged into the comment section of the show if you see something that somebody's saying that you can connect with or have some information with please connect with that person you can contact 
you could connect with Anthony after the show. You can connect with Joe after the show. You can connect with me after the show. And we'll do our best to get you in contact and um, help get a little bit more funding and organization behind this project. So let's tear into the news because there's a whole folder of it. I'm going to do my Amy Wolf uh, pre uh, imitation right now. So if somebody out there who's watching, if you're part of an organization or a business in Pottstown and you have news that you want us to share on PorchCast Pottstown, you can send it to us. Um, I am easily reached mattgreen at glocker.com. Com. Send me what you want me to share, and we will get it out on the show. Right, Joe? That's exactly right. I mean, <laughs> I think it took me, what, three minutes to get a reply from you and Amy about yeah. doing this, this. Yeah, that was about right. And then this morning when I panicked because I didn't get a whole IT about what to do, Covered we it. had the problem resolved in five minutes. Yeah. So it's easy to get on the yep. show. It's easy to get your news out on the show. All you got to do is contact us, and we'll help you out. All right, Saturday at 10 a.m. does the Pottstown Pet Fair. Uh, it's, the Pottstown Pet, Pet Fair is a free public event featuring area animal rescues with adoptable pets looking for their forever home. It is the annual Pottstown Pet Fair, Saturday at 10 a.m. at Memorial Park. I think Memorial Park fared pretty well it seems to me I think through so. some of this flooding yeah. didn't I, seem to be as much damage as there had been in the past no i don't think there was as much damage. right that's what i'm hearing for that people but are saying i'm wondering do you does that source you have a popsicles do popsicles too that maybe you could sell at the, the pet show <laughs> there you go the pet shows on saturday get down there and hustle some up. <laughs> Hustle popsicles. Some popsicles at the pet show, at the pet fair, I'm sorry, at Memorial Park. There's a borough council meeting, uh, Monday, September 13th, borough council meeting. All are encouraged to attend. It's the monthly borough council session. Um, there's also, I think you can join in on that uh, via Zoom or some type of virtual attendance. Uh, Pottstown Borough Council meeting. We were sent this piece of information by Jay Morris. The women in NAACP have adopted the local Salvation Army's women's shelter. Women in NAACP, WIN, W-I-N, is holding a fundraiser on September 15th at Applebee's. Takeout only. It's simple. Order takeout food online at Applebee's.com or via the Applebee's mobile app. Enter the code doing good, doing good, D O I N G O O D, at checkout, and Applebee's will donate 15% of your check to the women in NAACP committee. That's the win committee. Dinner and a donation to a good cause, all in one easy location. So September 15th, Pottstown Applebee's. Go to Pottstown Applebee or go to Applebee's.com or their mobile app. Enter the code doing good and 15% of your check will be uh, donated to the women in NAACP here at the Pottstown chapter. Oktoberfest, this is Boyertown, Oktoberfest 2021, September 17th at the Town Center parking lot. It's part of Main Street Revitalization in Boyertown. It's being brought to you in conjunction with Build a Better Boyertown. Boyertown's Oktoberfest 2021, September 17th at 5 p.m., 5 to 10, September 17th. Here's one that we were sent by the folks at Pottstown Children Discovery Center. They're having a short stack competition. It's a looks like it's a, a cooking competition for kids. Register anyone who wants to be a taste tester, parents included, but only children will vote. The event will be held outside from 1 to 3 for families to come and go. You do not need to stay the whole time. Kids will vote for their favorite as runner-ups. The restaurant with the first place votes will be announced and named the Short Stack Champions of 2021. 
This looks like it's happening at 95 South Hanover Street in Pottstown. 95 South Hanover Street is the old uh, train station down there. Oh, okay. It was the university center for Montgomery County Community College. Right. Um, that is where the Pottstown Children's Discovery Center is now located. Okay. Apparently, they were able to secure a lease on that facility. Well, so, I know they're looking at local restaurants are going to be making the pot the is that sticks. how that works yeah so, so the local cool. restaurants are going to make the food the kids and the families can come in from one to three on the 18th taste, taste test the food and vote and vote right first place winner wins the short stack champions of 2021 all right yeah. check that out so one more thing to do September Saturday, there is a 20th anniversary memorial to honor victims of 9-11 at 6 p.m. at Memorial Park. That's being sent to us by Susie Marcucci Kennedy, who is our literary liaison. We like alliteration here on Porchcast Pottstown. Uh, Mosaic Community Land Trust Fall Garden Tour is September 18th, 8 to noon 8 a.m to noon we've talked about this extensively you can go to mosaic to their facebook page or their web page to sign up tickets can be purchased online twenty dollars in advance twenty five dollars the day of the tour tour plus a lunch ticket is 50 bucks rain date for this tour will be september 25th if you would if you do not want to pay online you can call 484-214-5046 to reserve your ticket to the Mosaic Community Land Trust Fall Garden Tour. Here's another one. Uh, a lot of people will know this woman, especially if you've been involved in the community college, uh, a woman by the name of Mary Gatta who is the mother of Lori Davidson, who was an employee at Montgomery County Community College, was very injured, very badly injured in a car accident with mm. a drunk driver. So on Wednesday, September 22nd, from 6.30 to 8.30, they're having an evening under the stars, with the stars, Frank Sinatra, Elvis, and special guest Marilyn Monroe will be appearing at Keystone Villa at Douglasville, Wednesday, September 22nd, 6.30 to 8.30. They're going to enjoy refreshing complimentary mocktails. An wow. evening under the stars. The proceeds of that show go to help support Mary Gatta's recovery. recovery. I also put up a link on Matt Green at Glocker Real Estate, on my Facebook page, there's a GoFundMe that's currently organized. You'll see the flyer for this event and also the link for the GoFundMe if you'd like to donate money to help Mary Gatta. Uh, Mike Murphy from Pottstown Veterans uh, Community Day. He's been on the show twice. Uh, wants everybody to know that on September 25th, from 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Memorial Park, they're having Honor Our Local Heroes. There's going to be speakers, and they're going to be honoring three local uh, military veterans. David Garner, a lot of people will know Dave. Yep. I've done local a lot of work. Attorney in town. Great attorney in town, former borough council person. Right. And he is a veteran of the United States Marine Corps. Michael Gimter. Gimitter, excuse me, Michael Gimitter from the U.S. Army and Robert Edmonds, Bob Edmonds. Mm -hmm. I know Bob right. does a lot of work with uh, youth mentoring in the community. Uh, he's being recognized as well. The Hamilton Celtic Pipe and Drum Band, honor guard from the American Legion Post 602. A hero's welcome, September 25th, 2021, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Memorial Park. They're also, in conjunction with that event, having a motorcycle ride. The motorcycle ride starts at 9 o'clock uh, Calcio Shays, which is located 2295 East, East Main Street in Douglasville. Calcio Shays. KSU. Kick stands up right. sharply at 1000 hours. 
There will be a fire department and police department escort with the Veterans Glass Tier Award honorees. Ride your bike, car, truck to Veterans Island for the program, which starts at 11. Riverfront Park cleanup. This is gonna be necessary after the flooding. Every year after the flooding, after every flood, the community's gotta pull together and clean up our parks because right. there's not enough tax dollars in the coffers to get this done. And if we wanna get it done quick and get, getting looking good quick, we have to take responsibility, right? Right. 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 Riverfront Park cleanup, Saturday, October 2nd, 2021 at 8.30 a.m., the Riverfront Park cleanup. This is being organized by the Pottstown Kiwanis Club, Kiwanis Club of Pottstown at Pottstown Riverfront Park. Expect to be there for about an hour and a half. You can get a lot done with some volunteers in an you hour have and a half. a lot of volunteers. You sure can. Riverfront Park cleanup, Saturday, October 2nd, 2021. Help the Kiwanis Club of Pottstown clean up the park. And this is just another reminder. I think we covered a bunch of stuff. Can I it, add one? Yeah, go ahead. Um, I received this from Rita Peterson from the uh, Steel River Playhouse. Okay. They always do a performance for second graders. Last time they had it, it was two weeks out and COVID hit. So they were not able to offer, and it's a free program to second graders. Okay. They bring the kids into the playhouse. Well, they're finally able to do it. They're going to do it outside. It's going to be this Saturday and Sunday at 11 o'clock. It's Aesop's Oh So Slightly Updated Fables. Okay. And it's going to be at uh, Riverside Park, and that's this Saturday. It's free. Mm -hmm. um, bring your kids, bring your grandkids, and come down and see Steel River always puts on uh, tremendous performances. So come out and support, again, a free event for people in the community. Right on. Uh, they've been on the show. We've done two different shows highlighting things that go on in Steel River uh, Playhouse. They're a great resource in our community. They sure are. Lots of free programs, lots of educational programs, and of course the, the plays and the comedy and the different events that they have down there are spectacular. Right. Yeah. Never had a bad time at the Steel River Playhouse. Yeah, Rita was at the uh, community leaders breakfast yesterday that okay. Hobart's Run puts on and was saying that they got their first rehearsal for um, Christmas Christmas Carol, Christmas okay. Story. Okay. Um, and special guest Scrooge is coming back. Wow. It's Would that our, be our friend Joe? It is our friend, Representative Joe Cerisi. Joe Cerisi. Nice. Is in that. And I guess he's recruited several people to be walk-on. And my understanding is the mayor. Oh. Mayor Stephanie is going to be one of those that walks on for that performance. Nice. So it'll be good. We're working to get Joe on the show. He's got a busy schedule. He's out um, working hard in the community. Yep. I do appreciate seeing him around. Oh, I see absolutely. him around a lot more than some of our other local representatives. But Joe does a great job getting he out sure in does. the community. Um, sure I know I posted a live video that he was shooting today in Bridgeport. They're trying to get some help to the people in Bridgeport yes. that got devastated, devastated in this flooding. Um, so I'm working on getting Joe on the show. His schedule and our schedule has not matched right. up yet, but he will be on. We're looking forward to having him back on the show. Yep. Uh, one more person to keep your can eye I, out. Can for. I also, uh, Lawanda Minor, the time made a is comment. yours. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Lawanda, if you're still on, uh, she said that she lived um, in Pottstown for 13 years, came from Abington, loves Pottstown. Her 15 year old can't wait to go to community college. Um, just to let you know, Lawanda, if he is a Pottstown high school student, um, we have a program now. He has to have a 90% GPA halfway through his sophomore year, so cumulative GPA. Um, he will get invited to apply for our program, which Anthony is in. And if he is one of the students selected after the application uh, review, um, could get up to 30 credits at the community college 
while being a senior, uh, junior and senior at Pottstown High School. And I know your son, Andrew, Andrew went through that program as well. Um, and because of that program, even though it's his second year at Temple, he took one class over the summertime, and now he has enough credits to be a junior. Right. So he's literally saving himself a year of college exactly. by participating in that early college program. You're on, I heard you before, you're on track for that same thing, right? Yep. How many more credits do you have to complete until you get to the 30? Um, one more semester. So you have one more semester, and then when you graduate from high school, mm -hmm. you're basically going to have 30 college credits under your belt. He yeah. possibly could have 42. Oh, really? Because he ha he'll have 30 through the foundation, and the college put out a program, that, a grant, mm -hmm. that students could apply for that they could get four classes, and the class is usually three credits each. Anthony was awarded that scholarship, so if he takes four more classes, he could have 42 credits, college credits, transfer yeah. to Penn State where he'd like to go, and, you know, be on his way. 42 credits would make you a second semester freshman. Yeah. Yeah. So he graduates from high school as a senior. Second semester sophomore. Uh, sophomore? Yeah, because he'll have 30 credits for his oh, freshman year. I got gotcha. you. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. There you I'm go. Sorry. I'm sorry. No, Man, I'm, I'm taking, I'm, yeah. I'm ripping I'm you off. You here. <laughs> What's that? I'm ripping you off. <laughs> He's worked hard for those. Yeah, he did. So you were talking about that before the show. Um, let some people know uh, what's going on one more time. How much money do you need to raise for this? flooring project um we need eight thousand and ten dollars um we've been working really hard i know we're, we're over a thousand right now right we're over a thousand yeah thank mm -hmm. you to everyone who donated yep. you know it's a, it's a great cause right don't go anywhere as soon as the show's over i'm going to give you some names and some numbers of people who commented on the show and i'm going to put you in contact with them so that you can reach out to them and get things going and get things organized Okay. Um, I just thank wanna, you. Yeah, no problem. We're gonna we're gonna make things happen, or try to make as many things happen as we can here on Porchcast Pottstown. Um, we hope that Amy Wolf is feeling better and will be able to join us. I don't think she's on the show next week. Uh, it's like Rosh Hashanah or something, something. on yeah. Thursday. I don't know. Somebody set me straight on that. Um, next week's show, we're going to have Todd Bainbridge, who's a historian uh, in Pottstown. Does a lot on the uh, good old days of Pottstown. I he, see him on Facebook there. Yeah, he yep. posts a lot of good stuff. He's linked up with the Pottstown Historical Society, Deb Penrod, my stepmom, uh, and our assistant to the executive producer. Um, got him plugged in with Pottstown yep. Historical Society. He's been writing some great articles on Facebook on Eye on Pottstown. Yeah. Yeah. Um, or not Eye on Pottstown. Uh, uh, good old, good days, old of days of Pottstown. Pottstown. Yeah. Todd's going to be with us next Thursday. He's bringing a Pottstown-oriented history lesson for us. Good. Uh, we're going to be at the pub. And our friend Matt Moyer. Is he co-hosting? Special for guest co-host. Mr. Moyer, the principal of Rupert Elementary and principal of the year in Pennsylvania. No kidding. Yep. So we yep. got a special guest host. You know Mr. Moyer? No. Did you go to Rupert? Yeah, I used to go to Rupert. Before he was principal there? Yeah, I believe so. Okay. Uh, good connections. And then Another if I remember correctly, the week after you're off, the 23rd. Yeah, I'm going away. Uh, Chris Golden the financial advisor to the show has some training in Elizabethtown and I'm going with her and uh it can't be somewhere you know it kind like of, couldn't be more glamorous. Florida like no, she's there now it's yeah <laughs> it's like uh Elizabethtown at the uh, Department of Corrections trading facility well that's a good place for you to go so. yeah, well we I got a campsite okay. like right down the street so I'm gonna go and fish and hang out take a little vacay uh, while she's going through the ringer and Chris, if you're listening, one of the conditions for me coming on is that I could not mention porta potty to you for three weeks. <laughs> so you will not hear from me for three weeks. <laughs> nice. Uh, yes, Amy Wolf is correcting me that next week is Yom Kippur, so she will not be on the show. She's going to be atoning for her sins. And if we know Amy, she's got a lot to attend. See, I was going to say that should be two seconds. <laughs> oh, I see. I was going the opposite direction. I was throwing her under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I would never do that. You, yes. Yes. Amy, no. Absolutely. I'll get it. Believe me, it's going to come back. I know it will. I'm ready for my jabs. All right. It's 7 o'clock. Thanks for tuning into the show. Thanks for supporting Anthony yeah, and his you. project. Right? Yeah, thank you. Absolutely. A great guy, great student, um, professional. He's an athlete. He's checking all the boxes. He is. He's checking all the boxes. One of our Thank finest. You. No problem. Uh, so I know that the Porch Tonians will be stepping stepping up to the plate um, and helping Anthony out. Joe Rusevich, thanks for joining the show and being Thank a co-host for, having for me. today. Yeah, Any no time. Thank you for having us. You know. Yeah. This is what it's all about. The show is about bringing attention to all the positive things that go on in Pottstown. Um, sometimes we do have some negative things happen. If those come up, we'll address those too on PorchCast. But we're really trying to bring attention to the people and the businesses and the organizations that make Pottstown a great place to live, work, and play. Right, and sometimes we have negatives that somebody turns into a, positive, a positive that you know solves a problem, and, and that's what we're about. That's what we're about, making connections. Thanks for being a contributor to society. No, thank you. You know, <laughs> I'm um, very grateful that you gave us this opportunity. And I, you, you're doing a, a very good job, you know. All right. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. I am Matt Green at Glocker Real Estate. I am your local real estate expert. I can help you buying and selling residential and commercial real estate in Montgomery, Chester, and Berks counties. Joe Rusevich is the executive director for Foundation for Pottstown Education, helping to support the educational opportunities here in the borough of Pottstown. And also an amazing guy. <laughs> and also an amazing guy. That's why I like him. <laughs> we are PorchCast.